Welcome to the series, New to eComposer. Today's video will explain in detail the structure of elements in eComposer Editor so that you can quickly learn how to configure any element. Before we start, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button for our channel. If you don't have a Shopify account, feel free to click on the link we attached in the description below. The newest Shopify exclusive deal is waiting for you. Element of eComposer Editor is divided into nine groups. Basic. Advanced. Shopify. Single product. Collection pages. Blog. Blog post. Theme and extensions. If you're using one of the integrated themes with eComposer, then you should also see the theme elements in the menu. Now let's explore each group. Basic includes elements that are common to all pages. Advanced offers outstanding elements that are almost exclusively available at eComposer. Elements in Shopify allow you to get data from Shopify. Single product elements are suggested for use in product pages. Similarly, the elements in collection pages, blog and blog post are used for the respective pages. Theme elements allow you to use elements developed specifically by Shopify theme developers. And extensions are the elements that are shown up when you install them from the extension library. They can be eComposer built-in extensions or third-party app integrated elements. You can see detailed guides on how to configure each element in our help center. I will put the link in the description below. In this video, I will focus more on helping you understand element structure in general. Now I will drag and drop the heading element here to demonstrate it for you. As you can see, an element settings consist of three tabs, content, design and advanced. The content tab allows you to change all the content of the element. For example, here I will change the display content of this heading. I will add link and HTML tag for heading. The design tab allows you to change the style of this element such as alignment, typography, text color, text gradient, border, text shadow, and spacing, etc. Third is the advanced section. All elements share the same options in this section. It includes spacing, background, visibility, animation, and attribute settings, where you can put custom code here to customize your element. In addition, in some elements, there will be a preset section where we provide pre-built designs for your elements. This tab helps you quickly use the presets created by the eComposer team. This way you can save time configuring the elements. In this example, when you click on the preset, the heading will be displayed as shown on the screen. Now, I'm going to customize an element with more complexity so you have an overview. I will drag and drop the slider element under the heading element that I created. Similarly, in the content tab of the slider, you have the right to edit all the content of the slider. You can add as many sliders as you want by clicking add new slider. The design tab allows you to configure the styles of the sections in the slider element. Finally, the advanced tab, as mentioned above, allows you to edit the same advanced configuration and information in the heading element. That is the end of today's eComposer element tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the eComposer community to get quick support and the latest updates. I'm putting the details in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channels to receive the newest e-commerce page building tips and tricks. See you next time.